You think I was upset about last year's cuss of the WWE? Today, I'm pissed off. I'm really pissed off because why the why the hell are you cutting? I mean, it's bad now you cut like a shit ton of people last year during COVID, during the pandemic. But now it's like you cutting some of the most important people, some of the, the some of the bigger stars that we want to see succeed in WWE. But now they're not gonna get that chance because after today they all cut from WWE. Now. I gotta get get, get uh, the people, some of the people I don't really don't care about out of the way first. Like Wesley Blake, I mean Wesley Blake, someone that um that nobody, I mean WWE didn't like him at at, at all, because they always prefer Blake Murphy over um uh, Blake anyway, because Murphy would over here would win the Cooper Championship, he would win the the Wall Tag Championship with, with um Seth Rollins, and while while Wesley Blake is out down in NT. The form of the forgotten sons that were easily forgotten, just like uh, the images that are easily forgotten on on, on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> and this guy would also was was bound to be one of King Co King Coburn's of uh, his men alongside Steve Cutler, Steve Steve Cutler, but that uh, ended up being scrapped like weeks later, and now he's cut. Tucker, we all know he wasn't gonna do anything after the split with um, Otis and. He didn't do anything after that. He was, he was cool. He was twenty four seven champion for like, for like a cup of coffee. He was part of the the uh, under the giant mobile wall this past for right on SmackDown, and that's it. He, he got cut. Bo Dallas, a lot of people, excuse me, a lot of people thought he was under under the fiend match. Uh, wow. Um, <clears throat> uh, Bray Wyatt was still doing his own thing, still covering from an injury of some sort, but. Seemed like that ended up being not true because he got cut. So, and Bo Dallas is another one that I thought he could be around for a while because he was it was, it was one day he was going going to be in like like you know the doppelganger or like you know apostle fiend with the uh, first of the will, will fiend Bray Wyatt, but that that, that not gonna happen because we never seen a, a feud between Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt at all in WWE. And the fact that we never seen seen that is is. is Kinda of surprising and it sucks. Kalisto, fuck Kalisto. I mean, just fuck, fuck the guy. Cause, I mean, I never liked him when he was in the loose house party, and I wasn't really, wasn't really a fan of him at, at, that much at all. I, I mean, it's it's cool. It's it's surprising that let's say Eduardo and Grand Matt Lee did more than Kalisto ever did after the, the split of the loose house party. Matt Lee and uh, Eduardo over here challenging with NXT Tag Championships while Kalisto is sitting at catering. Trying to flirt, flirt with um, Sasha Banks, like it, it was. It was just a waste of time, and I'm glad he's cut from the WWE because we don't. They don't need need him. Um, but see, speaking of people that they they said to cut and they they do need. Um, first of all, let's start off with the icons, the icon duo, Payne Wars and Billy Kay. Now, Payne Wars was someone that someone that I I don't like at all. Cause she end up being she has past has history of being a racist on social media, and she, me personally, she she changed for the worse when it comes to her face and her her body. But Billy Kay, like, you gotta be joking me. Why why cut Billy Kay? She was just at WrestleMania wrestling in a in a tag team tournament match at uh, WrestleMania uh, team up with Camilla. Why what was what the point of cutting uh, Billy Kay? And it was gonna, it was gonna, it was gonna cut her after WrestleMania so it just can't have uh, Bailey, Bailey as his reason. Cause Bailey, Bailey teamed up with Carmelo and made more sense because Bailey and Carmelo teamed up for a little bit while when Carmelo came back from uh, doing this new new gimmick. So no, no, no point uh, cutting Bailey K. Um, she was, she had more TV time than Bailey was did anyway. She was the comic, comic relief. Yeah, she was a bit of wrestler, but she was the comedy relief. She was, she was over here as, as people would look at her resume, like just, be, just being the, the jokester of of the, um, SmackDown. She was the jokester of the uh, kind, kind of duel. That's why so many people liked her so much. And there, then there's Chelsea Green, someone that I, I really feel bad for. Because Chelsea Green is someone that I, I was a fan of 
when she was doing hot match, hot match gimmick in uh, DNA Impact Wrestling. And also, it was uh, I had a pleasure of meeting her. I had a pleasure, pleasure of wrestling uh, to see her wrestle uh, uh, years ago. And she, she is a, a she has a great, great gimmick and a great character. And it would never, you never use in WWE, never. She had one match on Monday Night Wall. She had one, one match on on SmackDown until she got got injured. She first she came back from from injury and then came back and got injured again. And it, just, it sucks. And we were look, look, looking forward to seeing her wrestling again on the, on the main roster, but this happens. And she was teasing a, a potential, potential partnership with someone that also got cut. And now we're not going to get that opportunity unless it's in, 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 in India or in another promotion of some sort. And that other person that she was teasing to, to team up with was Mickey James. Mickey James got cut today and just... I've always been a big Mickey James fan ever since he, 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 ever since he, like, you know, ever since he started not doing the whole obsessive uh, gimmick, like the, the stalker gimmick with uh, Ted Drew Stratus, then I started to get uh, a lot, been, uh, I've been a bigger fan of Mickey James ever since. Um, so one of the greatest, that were uh, Lisa Barry Boots in um, WWE and in, in uh, TNA, and it sucks that she got let go. But then again, she wasn't being used at all. The last time we saw Mickey James was when she literally got screwed out of the War Room Championship because of the dumbass referee saying, act like she, she got hurt, she got cuz. But she was just fine. Just fine. And then, and then it, help, it does help when you have your husband, Nick Aldis, uh, having a feud with um, Bruce Pritchard, who was the, the, basically, basically the booker of War Smackdown. So when that happened, you know that uh, um, Mickey James gonna get screwed over in every some way, shape, or form, and she did, and it sucks that she, she got cut. I mean, AW is such, can need need someone like her anyway, so I, I won't be surprised she does go to AW. It's like it's like I don't I don't be surprised that this guy to go to AW. Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe should have been WWE champion. I like say that right 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 off the bat. The guy got to have been WWE champion, Universal champion. The guy does have been a world champion multiple, multiple times. That's that, that, that's how good Samoa Joe is. And it's like that the, the injuries kept on get, uh, getting away, and him just it's in to come 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 back. Whether that and he he got hurt with a thumb injury or he got cuss. He was he was sucked. It's, he was really wanting to come back to the the, the, the in the ring. But he ended up, he ended up being on commentary for, for the majority of the time he was out, and don't get don't get me wrong, he was he was a pretty good commentator, he was, and it was a it was a, a refreshing fa facing refreshing uh voice on commentary, cause most of the people on commentary nowadays suck, especially that new guy on on Monday Night Wall called, the Wrecking Raiders Wrecking Express, and, Guto Matire the Celtic Warrior like, what the fuck. But Samoa Joe, one of one of the best to ever, uh, one of the best to ever step in uh, ring one ring, one of the best to ever to step into TNA ring, and the first ever two time uh, NXT, two two time NXT champion, and part of me wants to go to AEW, and also he want also wants to see him in the, in the New Japan in some sort, some way, shape, or form, but um, Samoa Joe. But some of those amazing they are the ones that really hurt me the most because and, and Chelsea Green because these guys that have been champions most I mean just have been champions like last cause sometimes sometimes last year sometimes three years ago and they should have been used a lot more and so they should have been just it's, it sucks and people end up saying that they did it because of budget cuts me or you have Bad Bunny and Logan Paul at WrestleMania. But it cuts my ass. Anyway, and uh, I just want to come on here real quick and tell you how how, how I feel about this these the uh, cuts that that I'll start over. And, and it might be more, it might be more coming up uh, real soon. Maybe later today, later uh, later this week. But if there's more cuts that really uh, fuck me up, then I'll, I'll come come up, come back on here and tell you how I feel about them. Until then, like the video, subscribe, tap the bell, and hope you guys have a great uh, Thursday. Peace out.